Now to that new video capturing the moment a tanker truck carrying thousands of gallons of gasoline crashed on an exit ramp under I-95 in Philadelphia and burst into flames. Kelly, what are state police saying about this video today? Washita State Police say they have seen the video, they have it, and while they are not commenting on what it exactly shows or appears to show, they say they will be analyzing it as part of their investigation. Now, despite family members identifying the driver to Fox 29, the medical examiner's office still has not identified the body pulled from the rubble here yesterday. For the first time, we are getting a closer look at the crash that caused northbound lanes of I-95 to collapse Sunday morning and damaged southbound lanes beyond repair. Surveillance video obtained by Fox 29 captures the moment a tanker truck, seen here, carrying thousands of gallons of gasoline. Watch as it heads down the exit ramp at Common Avenue and as it navigates a left-hand turn that leads back under the highway, then it bursts into flames. And state police confirm they're looking at another video showing a different angle of the crash that surfaced on social media Monday night. It also shows the truck on the off-ramp and seconds later go up in flames. Today, our Jeff Cole asked police about it. We have uh, obtained that video um, and reviewed it. I mean, at this point, we need to do a full analysis to get any real information off it, but it does depict the crash as we expected. Fox 29 spoke with family members of 53-year-old Nathaniel Moody on Monday, who identified the father of three as the driver of the tanker truck. Moody's cousin says he had more than a decade of truck driving experience and for the past few years drove for TK Transport Incorporated in Pennsauken, New Jersey, transporting fuel to regional Wawa's during overnight shifts. We reached out to the company again today, and again, they said no comment. The one thing I, I can say is that he wasn't a careless driver. The accident didn't surprise me, the impact a little bit. Glenn Messinger, vice president at Baldor Philadelphia on Milner Street, says he took the Cotman Ave exit daily to get to work, which is a short distance from the crash site, and even in a small vehicle had to slow down to make that turn. Dozens of trucks come and go from their warehouse daily. Yesterday, the first day, it was a little unknown, so it was tricky, so it took everyone a little bit to figure out how to get here. But once you've kind of been in and out once or twice, it's a little easier the next day, so today's been much better. State police say the exit hasn't been problematic in the past. I don't see this as a place that we often respond to uh, collisions. Now, today, state police would not identify the company that the driver works for, but they did say the company reached out to them directly on Sunday to help them identify the tanker involved, and police say they are continuing to cooperate with the investigation. Kelly Rule in Taconi. Thank you, Kelly.